Hi guys, welcome to another FCP audio tutorial. The following video offers a brief overview of how to get the best out of your sound score. Here we have some footage from the product video. We're gonna build a musical arrangement utilizing only elements from the Imperium sound score. Once installed, you will see all of the various subcategories included. These will vary depending on the sound score you have purchased. In this tutorial, we're using Imperium. The subfolder categories are Foley loops, Musical loops, Drum loops, Impacts, Musical elements, Sound beds, Synth elements, Revs, Crescendos, and Drum elements. We recommend you start with the sound beds to create a musical backbone. As with sound stacks, each sound score comes with a click track. Let's add this first. The click track helps to give you a more precise visual indication of when to use the various auditory components. It's also invaluable when editing your chosen footage in sync. Sound beds come in long, medium, and short versions, but also in low, medium, and high frequencies. Let's add all three. Then highlight and copy and paste. We now have a backbone. I'm gonna fade in two of the regions to create a building texture. Now we shall select the Foley loops. I'm gonna drag and drop the old clock tick. Let's take a listen. Let's find the visual edit point. We want to create a dramatic stop, then cut and delete. Then let's add the old clock times two speed. Let's see how that sounds. Great, I'm now gonna find the next edit point. I will use Command B on all of the audio. I'll find the next edit point and repeat. Now let's turn down all of the sections we have cut. Okay, now I will select Revs. I'm gonna drag and drop the soft wind. And maybe the aquatic rev. Notice how I am lining up the highest wave peak with the edit cut. Let's just tidy that up and apply a fade. Now I'll select the impacts. I'll preview this one. Perfect, that'll do nicely. I'll drop this at the end of my edit. Now I'll open the drum loops. Let's see what we have. I want something impactful, so let's preview cinematic. Perfect, I'll drag and drop that in. Now let's hear this hat topper. Perfect, let's drop that in also. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, so I don't like the way in which these parts begin sharply, so I'm gonna add a fade to them all apart from the impact. Great, so now let's add some musical loops. Remember, any of these instruments will work with each other. Let's try the violin. Yeah, this one is fuller, we'll use this. Let's try the slow strings. I like this, I'll drag and drop this, but apply a fade. I'll also add the fast strings after. This will create tension. Let's see where we're at now. Getting there, let's keep stacking. Let's add this, but delay its entry point, and fade it in. Now let's add a crescendo, perfect for bringing the track to a climax. And let's see how all this sounds.
Amazing! As you can see, you can get really creative. We only used a few elements in this tutorial, but already it's sounding great. The possibilities are just endless.